Hey everyone, this is Riding Insane. Welcome to the next episode of the Legendary Build Series for the V4, aka Broly. In today's episode, we are finally gonna be getting rid of the ugly OEM fender. And also, we're gonna be removing the side mirrors slash turn signals, which are integrated with them. We're gonna be removing these two things and we're gonna be replacing them with something so much more badass. So stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy the episode. All right, so we start with the front or the back. Let's start from the back side, the best side. Um, so this is the OEM uh, Fender. I don't know if that's the right word, but we'll go with Fender. So just to give a little overview, we have the uh, turn signals right and left. Then we have the license plate holder. We have the license plate light under there. And then three reflectors, one, two, and then three. And the most important thing that is basically the reason we've had this uh, Fender on here is this little flat area right here that holds a GoPro mount. So if you guys know or seen my videos, we basically make sex tapes with hypercars, supercars, anything pretty basically that goes fast. Um, and we have three camera angles. We have the helmet camera that's on my go on my helmet with a GoPro. You guys get to see what I see. So wherever I turn, you guys get to see that. Then we have this angle right here. This is a front camera. So we have a GoPro facing this way, whereas I'm sitting on the bike, you guys can see me, the gestures I'm doing, the things I'm basically doing with my face, so you guys get to see that. And the very last one, but the most important one maybe, is the rear camera angle that shows basically the back shot, the money shot, the best shot. It shows those hypercars, the supercars, and anything pretty, looking at our tail lights as we pass them. So that's one of the biggest reasons that we've had it, because I could have put it here. The GoPro mount is just not as flat, nor is it pretty to put it, uh, put it on, uh, put the mount actually on here, so I didn't go for that. So I kept this, and also today we're working with Futurist Moto, the ones that, the parts that we're gonna be putting on the bike, they're by Futurist Moto. It's an amazing company, they make amazing products. So we're gonna replace these, and we're not gonna have a rear mount for a bit. I'll figure out something else. Maybe we'll put it here or somewhere else. We'll figure that out. Now moving to the front end. So these are the uh, side mirrors. So we have the integrated turn signals, usually on, on Broly, or not on Broly, but on Nimbus and on Kakarot, we don't have integrated turn signals within the side mirrors. We actually have, um, if you guys have noticed, a lot of bikes have their side or their turn signals on the side here. Usually there's a uh, hole in the fairing and then the thing just pops out, it's super ugly. Um, but with the V4, the panel is just one big little panel, so you don't really, no area for you to put the turn signal. So they integrated it into the side mirror itself, which I like, I think it looks really cool for that OEM perspective, I think it looks really nice. It's better that it's here and not there, so that area seems clean and looks good. And then you just have to remove this and just replace it. So the Futures Moto that's just sitting right there, it's gonna have, um, it won't have a mirror, but it'll have the turn signals. So the biggest part of these mirrors that just sucks is that here in Mexico you're allowed to lane split. Since you're able to lane split, lots of times people, the distance between these people's cars aren't the same. Sometimes they're tight, sometimes they're wide, but when they're tight, usually you've seen in my videos that I opt to not lane split because when I have these mirrors, Broly, not Broly, but Nimbus and Kakarot, they both have mirrors that have like a pivot thing here where you can turn the mirror inside inwards or outwards. This one is fixed. So if I go like that, I'll just break it, or I push this way, I'll just break it. And if you've, if you've been on any of the forums or if anyone's ever made a video on things they hate about their Ducati, it's usually that these mirrors don't fold. That's the thing that people hate about these um, because they break and they're very expensive to replace. So it's better to just replace these as quick as possible. So we are not gonna have mirrors on the bike for a while until I get bar in mirrors. But until then the bike's gonna look really nice, not having these little things, these bunny ears popped out. Uh, we'll be taking this off, that one off, and then the fender off. Hopefully it's gonna be a very simple installation to take all these things off and replace it. But we won't know until we do it, because usually simple installations, I mess something up, I break something, and then it becomes a long process. But we have the Futurist Moto stuff sitting right there. We're gonna head to the table right there, start doing the unboxing, and then show you guys the parts, and then we'll go to the install, and then hopefully it should be a short and sweet episode. So I'll see you guys at the table. All right guys, so I sliced open the box with the blade, but I haven't really seen anything, any of the stuff inside yet, so we're gonna see it together. Also, just uh, another reminder, we have close. Um, Futurist Moto, link in the description below. We're partnering up with them for this episode. Check them out. All right, looks like a turd. Pull that out. 
And then we have, I'm guessing these are the turn signals. We'll leave this, actually we'll do this one first. Um, and then this one right here is gonna be the rear fender. As you guys can see, like this is the rear fender kit right here. And you guys just saw in the last clip how huge the OEM one is. And this is all we need, it's pretty amazing. And then we have, I'm looking through the camera screen, so it's kind of weird, my balance is off. All right, we got some bolts. And then we have some other bolts. And then we have the actual, so this is gonna be the license plate bracket. I like the little symbol, it says F. All right. We have instructions. Hopefully this is gonna be super easy to install, but you guys know me, I break everything. And we have tail tidy install instructions. And coolest thing ever, it's actually in color. So that's a huge thumbs up or huge props to them. I can't tell you how many big companies that we've ordered parts from and their instructions are black and white and on like trashy paper and it's just crazy. I rather prefer a video though, but I'll take instructions that have at least colored pictures. And then we have another one, the license plate bracket. All right, so if you guys are wondering why do we have two of them, um, Futurist was nice enough to send us both. So you can either have your license plate at um, kind of like sticking out, I'm not sure what the right orientation would be. Uh, you can either have it like sticking out slanted on the bike, kind of the way it's angled right now on the Ducati, or you can have something that's a lot more just or you can have something that's a lot more just, you know, tucked in. So we're gonna go for the tucked in position so it looks cool with the rear tail of the V4. So I don't know which one's which, but we will go with the one that is uh, not angled, but just tucked in. So pretty cool, both have the same thing. I like it, I work with another company and they have the same exact thing where for their license plate bracket, they have it uh, all cut through. I don't know what the right word is, but all laser etched or whatever, it looks really cool. All right, let's do the uh, mirror block off slash turn signals first. Just the detail on these. So I think they're like CNC machined or something like that, but I don't know if you guys can see the detail on this. This is amazing. So this right here, the white strip you see, that's gonna be where it's gonna be blinking. This is the connector. But like, just look at the engineering of this. I don't know much about like machining aluminum and all that sorts of stuff from besides the parts that we've seen from different uh, manufacturers for different parts of the bike. But this looks amazing. And this is one of the big reasons that they're usually on back order is because they make such great products that everybody wants them, man. And we've been in line waiting for their products as well. And I'm so happy that they're working with us on, the, on this build series. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like a, an aircraft wing with the little lines on there. So this is all flat, kind of, no, 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 it has a design on there too. I'm looking through the camera lens, so it's not as, I should just look at the thing in person, but I don't know, I kind of don't experience it with you guys. I don't know if you guys can see this, it's too hard to capture on, uh, on camera, but there's like this little area where that kind of like, you see these lines coming out? It's like a little circle here where it kind of like opens up like explodes and these lines come out. Yeah, I think this is so cool. I don't know how people do this, man. I wanna learn how to do this. But yeah, that is one of those. And then we have just simple connectors for basically plug and play. And then let's take out the other one. It's completely the same thing, but we're still gonna look at it. Yeah, I don't know if I can catch this little cool thing right here, but we'll see. But yeah, they're both, both the same. A lot of, uh, sometimes, Parts like this on bikes, uh, one side is connected somewhere else. I think I've had that for the R6. It was the connections for those were a lot tougher, but this one seems a lot easier. And if you look closely, you can kind of see through this little uh, plastic or whatever this thing is, you can kind of see the internal housing of it, which looks amazing. I really just want to stare at this more, but I don't want to bore you guys either. So working on all these bikes, seeing all these different products, you can kind of compare the craftsmanship. So when you see pieces like this, you're just blown away. Kind of like when I see the Woodcraft case covers for the R6, for, uh, for Kakarot, I'm just blown away by the machining. 
because I've seen parts that suck, and I've seen parts like this that are just amazing. The Woodcraft ones, which are built amazing. Yeah, you guys can kind of see it right there. If you look over there, you can kind of see that's where all the colors are coming from. If you just excuse my fingerprints. But yeah, it kind of explodes out there. Or maybe I'm wrong, that's what it looks like. Yeah, see right there, it just explodes out there and all these lines come out. I really want to go YouTube this and figure out how people do this. It looks amazing. All right, yeah, so these are the uh, replacements for the OEM uh, side mirrors and turn signals. So we can't see, obviously this won't um, replace the mirrors where I can't look at them, um, but this will just replace the turn signals and we'll have bar and mirrors in the future. So we'll still have the uh, mirror capability. Put this off to the side. And then this right here is the most important one out of all of them, because we're gonna remove that ugly fender with this. So this is gonna be the rear tail tidy fender eliminator kit. This looks amazing. In this one, you can allow, you can see the uh, the machining part a lot better. Hopefully, you guys can see it as well. And like I mentioned, it does come in different colors. I think it's just silver, and they were talking about another color. I think I read on their Instagram or something. But again, link is in the description below. Um, if they do have anything else, uh, you'll see it there. But this is just I've I've never ever had a piece on a bike that had this kind of craftsmanship on it. Even the Woodcraft case covers, well, those kind of are kind of different category, but still, especially for a Ducati, like this looks like a spaceship, no lie, or like a jet plane or anything like that, or jet fighter or whatever you call those fighter airplanes. This legit looks like that or like an alien spaceship. So this is right here going to be, uh, if you guys remember that I mentioned the left and right turn signals were on the uh, OEM fender, so you'll have these instead. Uh, for the left and right, and I believe this hole right here is the uh, license plate light. Yeah, I think that's the license plate light. It's kind of hard to show you guys to have the camera focus on something like that, but yeah, so this is basically, what sucks the most about this part is that it's gonna be tucked under, so you can't even like admire the, uh, the craftsmanship, but it's just, blows my mind that people can make stuff like this. And it gets thicker and stronger as it goes further outwards. And then the coolest thing is with the Ducati, um, since it has the uh, the brake, uh, yeah, this would also have the brake lights too, my bad. The brake lights as well. Um, oh no, this wouldn't have the brake lights, because yeah, this wouldn't have the brake lights. Just the left, or the right and the left turn signals. Yeah, I'm sorry, because we're not replacing the uh, the brake lights. That's already on the, uh, uh, on the V4. Once we do the installation, I'll show you guys. Um, you know, it'd be kind of cool to walk you through that part as well. But yeah, so my bad, not brake lights, but just the turn signals left and right. And the coolest part is that it's such a simple plug and play installation. You have these connector, you just take out the OEM one and you connect this, um, and then you just fit it in. And you add a license plate, we already have a license plate light, you add the bracket, whichever one you want, um, and then you're, you're good to go. Just put a new license plate on there and that's it. This looks amazing. I just can't get over the craftsmanship like a little mini airplane. I kind of want to buy these just to keep on my desk. I just want to emphasize again the whole raw build series part. It's just this is what I usually do when I have a part. I'm just examining the hell out of it. And I feel like when you guys are buying this part as well, you guys will want to see all these things, the details of you know the product before you actually buy it. And hopefully I can share that experience with you guys um, as much as possible. But all right, so we have the rear fender tail light, or not tail light, but uh, turn signal kit right here. We're gonna be choosing from one of these, whichever one is the angled one, uh, that's the one we want, or that's tucked. I don't want it to be at an angle where the bike's like this and the turn, the this is the license plate, I don't want it to be like that. I'd rather it just be together, so it just tucks away perfectly because the tail of the V4 is gorgeous. Then we have the uh, supply bolts right here. And then we just scoot on through the front. Uh, the OEM uh, mirrors will be replaced. We'll put these bad boys on there. Same little thing uh, where they have this, where the light comes through. We'll have the uh, turn signals come through this entire thing and it just sits so flush. That's the best part about it. Um, two of those, that, and then we have instructions that are actually colored. So hopefully we'll go through this. It'll be a very simple installation. 
Um, but we'll move on to the bike now, Broly, and we'll start removing uh, the uh, turn signals or the finder, whichever one I decide. And we'll take it from there. See you guys on the bike. So we're gonna start off with removing the side mirrors and do the front side first since it's easier. And then we'll move on to the, uh, the back side, the best side. Let's get started. All right, so we have um, insulation about 90% complete. It, it changes the look, man. It really, really does. So it's gonna be nicer not to have those big mirrors stuck, uh, sticking out, easier to lane split. Once we have mirrors on the side, I'll be able to see uh, what's happening behind me. But overall, it's just a real clean cut. And the best thing about them is that it's, it's a great finish and it's aerodynamic. There are other ones out there that are just like these big blocks you put on there and they're just like these square blocks that come up. And I think it's really ugly and I, th I like how the edges are all drilled down and this is like a seamless little cut. The only thing left to do is actually get these wires, tuck them in there and then put these caps back on with the uh, screws and stuff that they supplied. But we are not gonna be doing that. For us, installation is complete. Um, also, they recommend uh, using Loctite when you're medium Loctite, blue Loctite when you are putting up the new screws. I believe you don't use the OEM ones, you use the ones they supplied. Um, you use uh, Loctite on there. But we aren't gonna be doing that. So the reason we're gonna leave her like this um, with the cables open is that I'm gonna be wrapping this bike. So I'm gonna have to, if I pull Loctite, I'll have to take it off. And if I put the covers back on, I'll have to take them back off. The main installation is complete is just putting those little sleeves on. You guys saw the way that I took it off. I'll be putting it on the same way, just with uh, blue Loctite on them. Once I know that I'm not gonna be taking these off again for quite a while, because I know I'm gonna be taking these off quite a bit because I have a lot of mods that I wanna do that involve using this, involve the dashboard or whatever, and like inner workings. So I know these are gonna be coming off. Once the wrap is complete, it'll be a while till I take it off. So we're gonna leave this the way it is, and now we're gonna go work on the, uh, the tail tidy. Okay, so we just cleaned everything up. We removed this piece right here. I'm gonna leave the GoPro mount. I really don't care about removing this and reusing it. 
um, but just to see a little bit of difference of what we had on there, what came from Ducati, and then what are we replacing it with. This looks so cool, it's a little jet fighter spaceship slash UFO. But yeah, so this entire thing, so you have the wire inside. It was a very, this is one of the simplest installations I've ever had, like Ducati and Futures, like hats off to you guys for making such a simple, I've never seen one little wire that I had to take out to remove an entire fender and just two bolts, that's, that's crazy. But yeah, so that's basically the difference. I'm not gonna weigh these because I never care about weight difference. I don't care about making the bike the lightest or the heaviest, I don't care about any of that. But just, uh, just for reference, it's pretty crazy how we're uh, the before and after for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this and then we should be all good to go. Before we actually install this onto the bike, we're gonna put the license plate bracket on here. So we have two options, one and two. Um, this one right here is the angled bracket that kind of basically just kind of tucks in. So I guess it would kind of be like this if this was the tail light. That way is the rest of the bike and your license plate would come on here and um, it basically kind of follows the dynamics of the tail. So it's not sticking out. On the other hand, we have the 90 degree tail turn or a license plate light or license plate uh, bracket where once you put this in, it will kind of stick out like this. You have the tail going like that, bike's on this side, and it kind of wouldn't fall the symmetry of the bike. Um, it would just kind of stick out. So I'm not gonna show you guys both. I just wanted to show you both brackets, but we're not gonna, but I'll show you how to install it just cause for better visual. License plate, the fender thingy has a little circle or this opening right here. I would say be very careful cause metal, metal kind of get it scratched. All you have to do is put this through and then turn it. Once you turn it, there's a small little screw. You see that small little screw right there? That's what's gonna be holding in the license plate bracket. So once you bring it in here, you turn it, it sits in there flush, and basically it's gonna look like that. Kinda like that. So this is the tail light, 90 degrees out, and I don't like this just because it sticks out, and I'd rather have, like on all the, all the bikes that we have, it's kind of, I think on Nimbus we have 90 degree because there's not an angled one, but I'd rather have an angled one so it kind of follows the trajectory or whatever the right word is for the bike, and it kind of looks tucked in and nice and neat. So this bracket is a little bit different. So you just take this bracket, you put it in, turn it, and then you have it right here. It sticks in. So as you guys can see, this basically, if I can get this to sit, this is basically how it's gonna look like. Where you have the tail light and then the license plate is just tucked in, so it'll kind of be like that at this angle. So we're gonna go with this setup. All you need here is the bolts uh, that they supply you. I kind of separated everything out. We have one small little bolt for the license plate light or the license plate bracket. So this is gonna be going uh, through this hole right here. We'll be going in through there and then it will be going into this hole right here. Put a little Loctite on there and we're good to go. And we are all done with the installation. So we have the back Futures Moto Tail Tidy Kit with the angled bracket, not the 90 degree one. So you guys can see how it's 
tucked and looks beautiful. I haven't installed a license plate on there yet, but there's holes on here that you would use and bolts that are supplied. And also it's recommended to install the license plate before you actually put this on. So it's easier because you won't have that much clearance for right here to fit the bolts and like, it's just a lot easier if you do it when it's off of here. I went ahead and also put the panels back on uh, for the turn signals. And it is a little dark on this side, but you can see it's totally flush. I wanted to make sure that this part actually fits correctly. And you guys can probably see it sits beautifully. There's not a single part that's up or any part that's not flush on both sides. And then this side as well. You can see on the sides, you can't see any gaps, no pockets, everything is tucked and nice. One other thing that I remembered um, that I shouldn't have put Loctite on this because I have to remove this since I'm wrapping the bike, the wrapping uh, Broly, so I'm gonna have to be removing this. What sucks is that the uh, license plate bracket, you guys won't have this issue unless you're wrapping the bike. Um, the way the license plate bracket comes up here, if I'm wrapping the bike, I can't really get access to this area, so I can't tuck the wrap and I can't make it fit on there. So I'm gonna be having to remove these two screws. I can leave the license plate on here. I just gotta remove these two screws. And I put Loctite on there, which I shouldn't have done. So it's easier for me to just, uh, as soon as this video is over, I'll take those bolts out and this will just sit over there. And then once I wrap the bike, then I'll put Loctite on them again and um, fit those back in there. But for now, we're just gonna remove this. And that is done. We are all good to go. So I'm gonna turn on the bike so you guys can see the lights, the right, left, and then the license plate light you guys are gonna have. And then we are all done with this episode of the Bill Series. I know it was a long episode, but I'm sharing with you guys everything that I would be doing on the bike or whatever I usually do whenever I'm working on the bike. So a lot of mods I've done for like uh, Kekaroth, the R6, that I didn't even record because um, I didn't do a build series for them, but that's usually, this is a process that I go along with. Besides just having music uh, turned up super loud, trap songs, rap songs, hip hop songs, R&B songs, everything that you know, makes you feel all tingly inside. So anyways, um, front turn signals, rear turn signals and license plate, all by Futurist Moto. We partner up with them. Links will be in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Remember to subscribe only because you love me because I love you. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.